Okay, so by popular demand, here is the answer for the most common question in every single MPC group on social media, wherever it's uh, Reddit, Facebook, Instagram or whatever. And the question is, how do I customize my splash screen on MPC? Okay, so before we proceed further, there is one thing you need to know. At some point, uh, it will be an open heart surgery. So if you do something wrong or messed up something, you might override wrong partition or do something that will require you to do even more work to bring it back to the state as it was before. So keep that in mind. And if you want to proceed further, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, maybe I'm gonna give you some info about uh, how this splash screen works in MPC. Basically, splash screen is stored on a separate partition inside your MPC as BGRA uh, raw pixel data as opposed to more common RGBA. Uh, RGBA obviously red, green, blue and alpha channel, BGRA is blue, green and red an alpha channel. As you may notice, uh, those red and blue channels are swapped. So even if you upload RGB to your MPC, it will look funky on your screen. So we're gonna have to swap those two channels. Hence, we've got uh, GIMP open. Okay, so let me find an image, a uh, rainbow one. There we go. We're gonna use this image because it's nice and colorful and yada yada yada. Candy sweet image. <laughs> okay, so let's create a new image. Size of it will be 1280 by 800. Click OK. Uh, now we're gonna copy this image over here. That's completely too big, as you can see. It doesn't fit into our small screen but we're just gonna scale it to aforementioned uh, 1280 by 6 ah okay uh, so it's different aspect ratio okay so let's do 800 so it's gonna be around yeah 1600 by actually you know what let's do 820 so we've got a little bit of wiggle room to adjust it yeah doesn't matter, it might be, image might be a bit bigger because our canvas is proper size. So scale it, yeah, it looks okay now, so we can move it and bring more colors so we can admire it later on. Um, maybe, yeah, like, like this. Uh, image, flatten image to bake that in. Now, when you go to channels tab, you will see that there is no alpha channel. Uh, sometimes images have their own alpha channel, sometimes they don't. Uh, if they don't, we will have to create that because obviously MPC requires four channels per image. So we're gonna go back to layers, right click on background and add alpha channel. And there we go, we've got all four required channels. Now, we will have to split those channels. Uh, we need to have separate red, separate blue, so we can obviously uh, swap them around. I'm just gonna close that one, we don't need that. So what we will do is we will go to colors, uh, components, decompose. Make sure decompose to layers is unchecked because we, want to, we don't want to have it in layers, we want to have it in separate files just in case. Click OK, and as you can see, we've got three separate uh, files, R, G, and B. Yes. Uh, so, let's go back to our original image. We will deselect all of the channels, and let's, because we need to swap uh, blue and red, let's deal with red one. So, OK, we've got red selected red, green, blue. So we will go to blue one, uh, edit, copy visible, go back to channel, red selected, edit, paste. Okay, 
that's change color a little bit. Go to layers and we will have to flatten it or bake it in. So we will anchor it. Now, deselect red one. Let's do the same with blue one. Select blue. And over here we need to select the red one. Copy visible, obviously. Paste it in. <coughs> Excuse me. Paste that in. Uh, go to layers. Flatten it. And we've got beautiful image. Beautiful image with uh, red and blue channels uh, swapped. So now, there is one more thing. Before we export it, there is one more thing we have to do. Open boot. Uh, this image needs to be vertical, so correct size for it should be 800 by 1280, not 1280 by 800. So we're just gonna... Uh, what I want to do, transform it and rotate it counterclockwise. Okay, so now we can export it as a raw image, select file type, raw image data and call it uh, any mini candy <laughs> rainbow. Okay, let's call it rainbow and let's dump it into my desktop. Okay, uh, we can leave it standard RGB, we can leave it standard RGB over here because we swap the channels. Export. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Now I need to find the image. Where is it? Uh, I will just move it on the side over here. I've got my rainbow data over here. Let's create new folder so I'm not mistaken. Let's call it video tutorial or whatever. Tutorial. I'm recording tutorials. Okay. Now, in order to move it to MPC, you can use plenty of... There is plenty of applications like FileZilla, Putty. You can do it from terminal. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm doing it from Total Commander. So, I'm just gonna log into my MPC. There we go. Go to Media. Uh, internal SD because the I want to copy it to internal SD. You can leave it on your SD card or whatever. And I will find video tutorial on this side. There we go. And I will copy rainbow data. While we copy, there is one more thing I have to mention. Make sure that those size of the file doesn't exceed four four megabytes. Because if it exceeds 4 megabytes, you, you will overspill onto another partition and obviously you will break it. <coughs> so let's log into our... Once we've got it in MPC, let's log into our MPC. Uh, to check, to check uh, the file size, to make sure the file size is correct, we can do lsblk. Blk. We can see there are two partitions, MMC BLK 0P4, uh, which is 4 megs, that's the splash screen uh, on boot, and MMC BLK 0P5, which is update image. So you can change update image as well if you want. And there are 4 megs. So we can issue a start C and a path to our image which is media az01 internal sd but it's mounted as sd card as well so we can do sd card rainbow dot data oh ah sc scared scared why scared sd card there we go and here we go yes it does have four megabytes in size so fantastic. Now we can copy it to our partition. So what we're gonna do is dd input files equals sd card whoops input file equals sd card uh, 
rainbow.data output files equals device mmc blk 0 p 4 oops and we forgot slash over here there we go and now uh, say your prayers cross the fingers and let's do it 8000 records read 8000 records wrote fantastic so now maybe i'm just gonna issue a reboot reboot oh actually i'm gonna turn the camera on there we go and issue that reboot and let's see what happens or maybe i'm just gonna adjust it hold it like this so we can see it better ah beautiful colors beautiful splash screen there we go that's how you change splash screen on your mpc i hope it helped someone obviously uh, there are oh maybe i'm just gonna <laughs> obviously there are applications that can directly deal with it you know swap it so you don't have to do it with uh, gimp but uh, i in my opinion that's the best way maybe not the fastest but this is the best way because you can uh, uh, do something with your image as well instead of just uh, convert the channels so yeah hope this help and uh, yeah hey ma i've recorded the tutorial <laughs> Peace.